Hello guys and welcome. This is I play 4K and in this video tutorial I decided to go ahead and teach you how to overclock your laptop, how to overclock the CPU of your laptop. Uh, Core i7 6th generation a mobile version but keep in mind we're looking for the CPUs on your laptop that ending with the K. Go ahead and read this information. If you disagree please leave this video. You're doing this on your own risk and expenses. I am as author and all the third parties that support me doesn't involve uh, or involved and uh, they're not going to compensate you for your time, risk and expenses. You're doing it on your own risk. Please go ahead and read it. Alright, if you disagree, please leave this video. Alright guys, I'm recording today with external camera. So hopefully you're going to see nice and beautiful and sharp it's a professional uh, 4k uh, external camera that i'm recording today so hopefully everything is sharp and everything is beautiful as you can see it's night 3 a.m almost i gotta work i'm working 24 7 please like this video share this video this is going to be unique video how to overclock laptop cpu i'm going to be the first guy who's going to explain it very nicely for anybody for any beginner so if you expert you know maybe it's not going to be the video for you but this is video for anybody all right so if you like this video please like it and i'm going to get motivation to produce some more cool videos in the future similar to this today is may 24th 2016 as you can see this is my laptop and i just boot it up uh, i'm going to show you real quick how to overclock your msi laptop uh, which is Dominator or Titans, um, any Titans laptops, um, starting with the 6th generation i7 and uh, go up with the newer versions. It has pretty much tool and it's called Gaming Sander. It's right here, you see the dragon on the bottom, right here, or you can click Start button, which is the window sign, go, the, uh, go uh, and type here in the search, gaming gaming and gaming center click on it and execute it this is how you can overclock the msi easy this is easy this is very simple method but it's um, um, this is the basic you cannot do this with asus asus i mean and acer and alienware because they don't have the msi gaming center it's for the msi laptops but keep in mind this video is just going to start with the ba basic and then we're going to go how to overclock any laptop with the different tools all right tools that you're going to download it like i explained to you in the beginning of this video so here we go as you can see it has the sport mode you want to bring it to the sport mode but by clicking on it you cannot and um, you already downloaded the um, CPU-Z and install it, I'm assuming. Please download and install all, all the software. So type CPU-Z. I downloaded the MSI version, but you can do the ASUS, Alienware, etc. Run it. So first thing what we're going to do, we're going to see where we are at. And um, right here, it says we're running... Uh, 34 so 3.4 gigahertz right now we are in turbo mode uh, from 8 to 36 multipliers as again i'm not going to explain a lot of things but watch my uh, mouse and follow me full explanation will be at morose academy step by step explain everything longer video two times three times longer than that okay so 36 is a maximum multiplier so this laptop working 2.7 gigahertz at regular operation and go to 3.6 gigahertz but only one core working 3.6 this is the quad core and has the eight threads which is eight virtual core in windows okay so as you can see over here it says core 4 and threads 4 but it's supposed to say at threads 8 okay I, I put it in four threads because I disabled the HT and HT hyper trading and hyper trading is a technology that pretty much bring you double threads of your course as uh, you know that Intel introduced and um, I disabled that 
and I will explain to you why I disable that in a second but let's go ahead and get going so you can see that right we don't go above 3.6 maximum because 36 multiplier is maximum you multiplying by bus speed which is 100 megahertz 36 by 100 3.6 gigahertz or 3000 um, 600 megahertz okay here we go here's the voltage you want a core vid 1.59 voltage jumping kind of jumping it's not stable it's a little bit jumping of microvolts all right so what we're gonna do first this is how easy to do the msi dominators laptop all the g series laptops sixth generation and newer Here's the power consumption as well of the our CPU you can see. So you want to go to device settings here and you want to switch to sport. If you're going to switch to sport, it's automatically going to give you CPU ratio. Okay? You can see it's 37, 38, 39, 40 and 41. If you're going to click 41, uh, let's go ahead and click 40 first. I, I clicked 40 and it says times 40 here. See that? It was times 36 now or 34, now it's times 40. That means that 100 times 40 bus speed, which is 100 without 1 megahertz, times 40 will be 4 gigahertz or 4000 megahertz. Okay? So we got 4 gigahertz now. This is, will be stable. If you want to keep it 4 gigahertz, it will be stable on this laptop, the Minator. Um, Oh, I mean on this Titan and on most of the dominators will be stable too but you can test it I will show you how to test it very soon stay with me so if you will click here and put 41 multiplier your computer going to freeze okay when you overclocking and your computer freezing or blue screen and stuff like this today I'm running Windows 10 see 41 I didn't select the 41 when you're going to select 41 your computer going to freeze and it means that CPU, if you clocking, you know that you're clocking. It means the CPU required more voltage and it's going to freeze because it's lack of voltage. Okay, blue screen freezing or some errors in applications that didn't, didn't show up before you, you started the overclocking. It's fine. It's supposed to do this and you're not going to break nothing because today pretty much you're not going to break nothing. I'm not going to give you 100% but 99%. 1% that there is a possibility you can break your laptop but as again you agreed. And I'm not responsible for any expenses, material, physical and etc. And damages. So... Uh, here we go and 99% uh, you're not going to break anything because you're overclocking with the software it means that every time you're going to reboot your computer with the button on the laptop by pressing on it you're going to come back to stock to the manufacturing settings all right so by clicking right now we're running 4 gigahertz as you can see right now 39 87 megahertz it's a 4 gigahertz without few megahertz okay let's go ahead and um, put it back first and uh, put it in the comfort mode comfort mode back 34 but maximum 36 see that 34 and now it's went to 3390 megahertz which is 3.4 gigahertz or 3400 megahertz let's go ahead and test it first Go ahead and test your thing before you're going to do anything. We click and CPU Z it has under the bench tab, it has the testing. We can test and we can compare. So we can remember these results and we can compare these results after we're going to clock it. We're going to see because the speed is going to increase and that means that overclocking is successful, but then you need to also test it. And I'm going to teach you how to test it real quick for the stability. As you can see, uh, 1584 uh, are single thread, so single core uh, score and multi core score is uh, 6252. See that? Let's go ahead and put it against the desktop CPU. You can select anything, but I'm going to select against the 5960X, the extreme right now in May. Uh, 24 2016 is the most expensive CPU that costs $1,000 for the desktop just a processor Okay, here we go on the uh, single threads We are faster than extreme. Wow, that's nice on the 
multi-thread, which is the multi-course calculation, very slower. It's 12,000 with 6,000 almost by two. See that? Remember those numbers. We are at the multi-course, we are almost by two times. So we are 6252 score and the extreme is 12,156. Remember that? And our uh, single core calculation 1584. Okay? Let's remember that and let's go ahead and put the sport mode and just because I already tested the 40 it's going to be click on that and select 40 it's going to be 4 gigahertz immediately 4 gigahertz see that we're going to come back and we're going to retest it bench it again look at that we at 2025 on a single calculation on the core amazingly and we getting come on almost 8000 7791 on a multi-core here but it's still 12156 but we already increased by 1000 out of air right this is can be done on any msi laptop g series easy six series i7 with the k and uh, newer generations G series laptops. All right, let's say you want to increase, you want to go to 42, 4.2 gigahertz, you want to do 4.4, 4.3. How to do that? Let's say you have the Asus laptop, Acer, Alienware. How to do that? Here, how we're going to do that.